students once again so let's have a little recapitulation from previous class all right okay so so far we have seen that tezia wanted to prepare a beautiful gift to her father yes where she appreciated her grandmother's advice and she started making and we have also seen that she grabbed few papers of her father's speech and tore it tore them into pieces and stuffed them into a cushion and after that her father got to know uh, her mother searched everywhere and she immediately called uh, kizia down to the room where his father where her father is and there she gets panic a lot now actual play starts here okay so all this stuff we have seen in the last video okay we have stopped at fifth paragraph now coming to the next paragraphs students i want you all to read your textbook thoroughly along with me when i read all right it 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 benefits you a lot i'm telling you you have to anyways follow all the instructions and one more thing i want to advise you is since you are grown up you know very well how to search dictionary words in the dictionary please i want you all to keep your dictionaries aside in front of you okay beside you your dictionary also should be there okay whenever you find the word is difficult whenever you find the new word when you come across a new word please refer to the dictionary this is a very good practice i know you will be very much benefited with this okay students good i know my students are really good i was as i always say that now coming to the next paragraph let's see what is going to happen are you not excited to know yes i know you are excited and i even more i get excited to teach you okay because the story is so interesting okay come on. now students till the fifth paragraph we have seen now i'm going to read sixth paragraph the continuation part of the previous video okay come on look into your textbook students and she was dragged down to where father was was pacing to and fro please underline pacing to and fro i tell you what it is hands behind his back now here she was dragged where where was she dragged she was dragged down to her father's room kezia's father's room where he was in tension he is pacing to and fro that means walking this way putting his hands back walking this way because he is in tension don't your parents do this everybody does this everybody do this okay now so well well he said sharply well mother explained he stopped and stared at child with all such looks scary looks okay did you do that who is questioning of course it's father okay did you do that again she stammers here because she always she is not at all confident when she comes in front of her father so again she stutters here saying no 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 she wish, whispered what did she do here and then no she whispered here okay mother go up to her room and fetch down damn things here damn things are the mystery work what she has done that means the thing what she has done the disaster what she has done okay what is a disaster what is a mystery thing she has done here tearing up all the papers and filling the cushion all right so see that child put to bed the sun stand okay that means she has to hit the sack she should put to bed right now okay now coming to the seventh paragraph please turn to the page 35 students i hope you all are underlining the new words which you are coming across okay now in the seventh 
paragraph crying too much to explain who who is crying naturally it's kezia okay she's crying too much to explain she lay in the shadowed room watching the evening light making a sad little pattern on the floor here please underline shadowed room what is shadowed room yes it's a slightly dark room and watching the evening light there is light outside the room which is coming and uh, you no know, putting shadow in the room all right so that's that's where we call it shadowed room little dark where the light you know a, a slight light is falling inside the room okay so it is making shadows over there so students here the shadowed room i already told you it's a dark slightly dark room and watching the evening light what is a watching evening light so she is just looking at floor and where there is light outside the room which is falling into her room okay so that's called watching the evening light which is falling into her room make a sad little pattern underline sad little pattern obviously here we can't say happy little pattern can we say no because she faced something unpleasant okay something bad she has faced so mansfield has cleared us uh, saying sad little pattern what is sad little pattern refers to the sad atmosphere is it clear students yes coming to the next line of the seventh paragraph then father came into the room into room with a ruler in his hand do you know what is a ruler a stick a scale wooden scale or a log kind of a thing okay usually our parents you know my mom has used it when i was in childhood okay just to uh, beat on palm or somewhere on back all right so usually parents know this if you want you can check out with them whether they have used a ruler any time or not okay students it's a wooden kind of a thing ruler in his hand now father is so upset that he has lost his papers which is which is very important for his uh, upcoming meeting so he held he, he held a ruler in his hand i am going to beat you for this he says i am going to beat you for this thing you have done okay he said oh no no who is shouting here yes kids are screaming here out of fear oh no no she screamed hiding under the bed clothes what are bed clothes the sheets which we cover we wrap we wrap ourselves during uh, winter usually okay so under the bed clothes the bed sheets he pulled them aside now it doesn't matter to him he just pulled them aside okay students maybe he is harsh here you'll get to know why he is harsh she sat up he ordered now he orders her, her to sit up kezia and hold out your hands okay he is asking her to hold out your hands you must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belongs to you now here um what he is trying to do is he is trying to put her in disciplinary path okay usually parents always try to sometimes they behave harsh because so that what is taught in our childhood always comes along with us till our end okay he is actually trying to teach her few things few morals few di few disciplinary acts okay he is not trying to harm her okay kids here is too small she doesn't know what is important what not is important okay so that's the reason maybe she must have tore all her papers and fill cushion but here father really wants to teach few morals and disciplinary things where she doesn't uh, no commit such things in her future which is beneficial for her future okay so here you must be taught once and for all not to touch what not what does not belong to you 
But now here she tries to say something. But it was for you, for your b -b birthday. Again she scuttles here, she stammers here. She is trying to say for what she has touched those papers. Okay, down came the ruler on her pink, little pink palms. Now, did he stop eating? No, he, he, he got his ruler on her little pink palms. Your little pink palms, please underline little pink palms are nothing but as she is so, li so little, her palms are obviously tender. Okay, so that's the reason here the author has written it as little pink palms. Do you understand students? Yes. Now, coming to the eighth paragraph, let's see what has happened there. Now, hours later when grandmother had wrapped her in shawl. Alright, now, obviously grandmothers, you know, they are the most loving human beings on this earth. Okay, so whenever they try to escape you from many dangers, alright, whenever your mother is upset about your acts or father is upset about your acts, you know, they are the, the, the very people who tries to uh, pull us out of that danger, alright, so that we are not subjected to parents' anger, alright students, so a big kiss to all grandmothers here now. Now she's trying to pacify the poor little Kezia. She's trying to console Kezia as she is crying very badly, so bitterly. Okay, so and her uh, she had wrapped her in a shawl and rocked her in the rocking chair. Now she made her to sleep on her lap, uh, in a rocking chair, which which has a motion of moving to and fro. Okay. So, the child clung to her soft body. Whose body? What is clung here? At getting attached to something very tightly. Okay. So, that's called clung. To attach yourself. Okay. So, she clung to her soft body. Whose body? Grandmother's body. Okay. So, what did God make fathers for? Now, out of anger, Kezia, the poor little girl, questions uh, this way. What did God fathers, what did God makes fathers for? She sobbed. So what is meant by sob, students? Underline the word sobbed. Sobbed. It's nothing but cry. Wail. Weep. These are synonyms of saw. Okay? Please underline saw. Now, so she sobbed there. Here's a clean hanky, darling, who says grandmother. Usually when we cry, you know, parents or somebody gets water to drink, a glass of water, or else give a hanky to wipe tears. Since this year, here she's bitterly crying. Uh, her grandmother offered her a clean hanky saying, darling, blow your nose, go to sleep. She says, blow your nose and go to sleep. Pet. Here pet in the sense, she pet is also something to give a kiss or something when we call out of love. Okay, so it's that. Please underline that. So here you'll forget all about in a it in the morning. So, grandmother, you know, their job is to always pacify, to console. Okay, students. So, that's why I call them loving human beings. Okay. So, she's trying to pacify at that minute. Now, now, she didn't stop Kezia. Here, one more thing she wants to convey to her grandmother saying, I tried to explain to father, but he was too upset to listen tonight. So, she says, I tried to explain, I tried to give details about, for what, about what it has happened, but he is not ready to listen anything, coming, coming anything from Kesna. Alright, so, but the child never forgot, obviously, when parents are so strict for few things, maybe their intention is not to harm, 
but obviously it's our human tendency to get panic for few things right so the same thing happened with Kezia so she says uh, but the child never forgot next time she saw him she quickly put both hands behind her back and a red color flew into her cheeks now students please underline red color flew into her cheeks please underline this complete sentence so now for the next time obviously now she will be behaving well and obviously she is already afraid of her father and for the next time what she did when she sees him she immediately put both of her hands behind so thinking that if father beats me okay so uh, thinking that she keeps uh, both of her hands behind and goes slowly when her father is in any room so she doesn't want to expose her father she doesn't want to get exposed when her father is somewhere in and around okay now here so both hands behind her back and a red color flew into her cheeks what is meant by red color flew into her cheeks out of fear no her cheeks completely became flushed okay her cheeks became red and out of fear that express that express on her face okay that's why here it is written as a red color flew into her cheeks okay students did you understand till here all right now i'm going to stop teaching till here till eighth paragraph let's see what happens uh, next in her, uh, you know uh, uh, with the kezia what happened with kezia next okay now students um, i i always uh, want you to hold your dictionary or keep your dictionary in front of you before uh, before you watch a video class especially languages all right okay in my class i always want you to hold your dictionary as well as your textbook and a pencil to underline wherever i want you to underline that too only with the pencil not to be, not with the pen okay so we have seen few phrases we have seen few words which are new to you i hope so please go through the lines once again so that you can have a better understanding okay student thank you so much be safe stay healthy eat healthy okay all right students